This is why your manifestation isn't working. The law of attraction, the idea that you can create your own reality by thinking positively about it. But did you know that there is a hidden factor that can sabotage your manifestation efforts, no matter how hard you try? This factor is stress and it can affect your brain and body in ways that prevent you from achieving your goals and dreams. You see, the law of attraction is not just a mystical concept, but a scientific reality that you can use to transform your life. But to do that, you need to understand how your brain works and how it responds to stress. That's why I'm so excited to share with you tricks from a neuroscientist who has cracked the code of manifestation. Her name is Dr. Tara Swart and she is a neuroscientist, former psychiatrist and senior lecturer at MIT. She is also the author of the book, The Source, which reveals how you can use your brain to create your own reality. This video will change the way you think about yourself and the world around you. So if you're ready to learn how to use the power of your mind to create the life you want, then keep watching. You see, the law of attraction is not just a mystical concept, but a scientific reality that you can use to transform your life. But to do that, you need to understand how your brain works and how it responds to stress. The brain is the most complex and powerful organ in your body. It controls everything you do, from breathing and blinking to thinking and dreaming. The brain has four main functions, survival, emotions, thinking and imagination. The survival function is the most basic and primal function of your brain. It is responsible for keeping you alive and safe from danger. It regulates your heartbeat, blood pressure, breathing, digestion, and other vital processes. It also triggers the fight or flight response when you face a threat or a challenge. The survival function is essential for your survival, but it can also cause problems when it becomes too dominant or active. When you are under stress, your survival function takes over your brain and shuts down or reduces the activity of the other functions. This can lead to fear, anxiety, anger, depression or other negative emotions that block your ability to manifest. The emotions function is the second function of your brain. It is responsible for processing and expressing your feelings. It helps you to communicate with others, form relationships and enjoy life. It also influences your motivation, creativity and decision making. The emotions function is important for your well-being but it can also cause problems when it becomes too dominant or active. When you are under stress, your emotions function can become overwhelmed or out of balance. This can lead to mood swings, impulsiveness, irrationality or other emotional disorders that block your ability to manifest. The thinking function is the third function of your brain. It is responsible for analyzing and solving problems. It helps you to learn new things, remember information, plan ahead, and reason logically. It also enables you to use language, mathematics, and other cognitive skills. The thinking function is important for your intelligence, but it can also cause problems when it becomes too dominant or active. When you are under stress, your thinking function can become rigid or narrow-minded. This can lead to overthinking, perfectionism, procrastination, or other mental blocks that block your ability to manifest. Before I go into the fourth function and how to balance your brain functions and overcome stress, I want to talk about a key concept that is essential for understanding and applying the law of attraction. This concept is called magnetic desire. Magnetic desire is when you truly deep down in your emotions, in your mind, you know aligned want the things that you have put onto your action board. It has to be a really strong true desire because that feeds the whole process of being able to change your pathways and taking risks to make those things come true. The law of attraction is about bringing into your life the things that you want. But it's not enough to just think about them or wish for them. You have to feel them, believe them and act on them. 
you have to create a magnetic attraction between you and your desired outcomes. But how do you create this magnetic attraction? How do you develop this magnetic desire? Now that is on the fourth step. The imagination function is the fourth and final function of your brain. It is responsible for creating and exploring new possibilities. It helps you to visualize your goals, dream about your future, and imagine different scenarios. It also allows you to use intuition, insight, and innovation. The imagination function is important for your manifestation, but it can also cause problems when it becomes too dominant or active. When you are under stress, your imagination function can become distorted or unrealistic. This can lead to fantasy, delusion, paranoia, or other psychological issues that block your ability to manifest. As you can see, each of the four functions of your brain has its own strengths and weaknesses. The key to using the law of attraction effectively is to balance these four functions and activate the imagination function. The imagination function is the source of your manifestation power. It allows you to see beyond your current reality and imagine new possibilities. It also helps you to align your thoughts, feelings, and actions with your desired outcomes. Now you are asking yourself, but how do you activate the imagination function? How do I balance the other functions of my brain? How do I overcome stress and unlock my true potential? That's where Dr. Tara Swart comes in. She is a neuroscientist who has studied the science behind the law of attraction and how it actually works. She has developed a simple yet powerful method that anyone can use to activate their imagination function and manifest their goals and dreams. Visualization is the first step of this method. Visualization is a technique that involves creating a vivid mental image of your desired outcome. Visualization helps you to activate your imagination function by stimulating the same areas of your brain that are involved in perception. Visualization also helps you to create a positive emotional state that attracts more positive experiences into your life. Gratitude is the second step of this method. Gratitude is a positive emotion that helps you to appreciate what you have and attract more of what you want. Gratitude helps you to activate your imagination function by increasing your happiness and optimism. Gratitude also helps you to reduce stress and increase your resilience. Like, keep a gratitude journal where you write down at least three things that you are grateful for every day. Meditation is the third step of this method. Meditation is a practice that helps you to calm your mind and focus your attention. Meditation helps you to activate your imagination function by enhancing your awareness, clarity and insight. Meditation also helps you to balance your brain functions and reduce stress. Action is the final step of this method. Action is the bridge between your thoughts and reality. Action helps you to activate your imagination function by creating feedback loops that reinforce your beliefs and behaviors. Action also helps you to overcome fear and resistance and move closer to your desired outcomes. By using these four steps, visualization, gratitude, meditation, and action, you can activate your imagination function and manifest anything you want. You can also balance the other functions of your brain and overcome stress. But more importantly, you can create a magnetic desire for your goals and dreams. You can create a positive emotional state that attracts more positive experiences into your life. You can create a strong belief system that supports your vision and purpose. You can create a feedback loop that reinforces your actions and results. This is the scientific secret behind the law of attraction and how it actually works. This is the method that she has used to help thousands of people around the world to create their own reality. I hope this video has helped you to understand how the law of attraction works and how you can use it to create the life you want. But remember that individual results may vary. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it 
and learn something new. Until next time, remember, you have the power to create your own reality. Use it wisely.